From time to time around the world, reports have come in of sightings of creatures that are less than human. Creatures of legend that have only ever been written about in fictional tales or theorized to exist. However, as it turns out, these creatures may not just be legends at all. Here are 10 mysterious creatures that may actually exist. Number 10 are goblins. Goblins may be mostly associated with fictional stories like that of Lord of the Rings or Dungeons and Dragons, but they've been part of European folklore for centuries. Stories from the Middle Ages tell of child-sized, grotesque creatures with green and brown leathery skin and greedy, conniving personalities. But if you thought that they were only fairy tales, you may be mistaken. A viral video of a tiny goblinoid creature running behind a baby in Argentina had many commenters complaining, saying that the footage was an editing trick. However, many others combated those claims with their own tales of seeing goblins in forests, caves, or even in their own gardens. A woman named Sylvia, the mother who filmed the video, says the goblin continues to be a nuisance and always brings with it a horrible odor. So the question is, do we share the world with these tiny beings? Number 9 are winged humanoids. In September of 2015, a number of people came forward claiming that they'd encountered some bizarre creatures. The humanoids were spotted in multiple locations in the countries of Singapore and Malaysia. At a height of 3 meters tall, they're very imposing, especially when you factor in the giant bat wings that they possess on their backs and the glowing red eyes that they seem to stare through. When Leah Fu, a 27-year-old freelance journalist, was in Investigating rumors of a haunting in Boutique Tanku, just outside of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, she stumbled upon one of these bat-like creatures, describing it as a larger-than-normal man with red eyes that pierced the darkness and leathery skin. When Fu approached it, it let out a loud, terrifying screech and fled when she took cover. Whether this account or others like it are true, it's definitely not a creature that you want to be alone in a room with. Number 8 are Elephant People. On April 3rd, 1968, Mabel Walsh was driving with her nephew, John, in Sydney, Australia, when she saw a creature emerge from a lagoon. It moved just like a human would, only instead of an average person's head, it had the head of something that resembled an anteater's. According to reports, the creature's legs were short and stout, it had very small eyes, and its skin was gray and leathery the way that an elephant's would be. However, it was too small and moved too well to be such an animal, and when it realized it had been seen, it lurched forward and disappeared into a shrubbery-filled valley. After her account spread through the region, others came forward with stories of the elephant people, roaming around at night and stealing their livestock, leading people to ask, what's in this lagoon? Number seven are flying people. Seemingly regular looking, despite being somehow able to stay airborne, these figures have been seen by thousands of people. One video, which came from a Russian man who was filming his dog Tarzan with his phone, shows a young girl who is levitating high above a man in a forest. She soon descends swiftly and upon seeing the camera operator, flees. Viewers have argued back and forth as to the legitimacy of the footage. However, there are several people who claim that they've seen seen in real life this flying person. Who are these gifted people? Are they superhuman or do they even exist at all? Perhaps one day if you keep your eyes on the sky, you'll find your own answer. Number six are the Ninjin. Imagine being on an expedition in the Antarctic region when a gargantuan humanoid creature rises suddenly out of the icy cold ocean depths like Poseidon himself. Well, that's exactly what happened to several people who claimed to see the legendary Ninjin, a nocturnal creature that can grow to over 30 meters in length. The Ninjin have pale ice white skin, long thick arms, and facial features of that of a human. 
Some say that they have large, powerful legs, while others say that they possess a tail like a mermaid. Because they only surface at night, they've often been mistaken for submarines until the vessel gets closer and realizes they're dealing with a living being. Some believe that they're not humanoid, but an unidentified new breed of whale or even a colossal manta ray. It's currently unknown what they are, but because of all the reports of these creatures, one thing is definitely certain. There's something big lurking in the Arctic waters. Number five are swimmers. In the 1930s, paranormal researcher Ilya Grabovsky began investigating reports of strange occurrences in the proximity of Lake Isik Kul in the northern Tian Shan Mountains. Despite being surrounded by ice, the lake never froze, but that wasn't the strangest thing about it. Reports of underwater caves containing three skeletons piqued his interest, especially since the skeletons were supposedly three meters tall. Grabowski claimed to never have found the actual bones. However, in 1982, Russian naval officers nicknamed Frogmen were training in Lake Baikal when they came across living versions of the creature. They were identical in size to the skeletons described and wore silver tight skin suits. When the Frogmen tried to capture one, they were pushed to the surface by an unknown force. To this day, no one has been able to get close to one of these creatures. Number four are tribesmen. On March 22nd, 2017, a video of a group biking along a path in Indonesia went viral. The clip contains what many believe to be proof that the mythical Manti tribe, a group of small humanoid forest dwellers, is very real. In the footage, one biker falls from his ride when a small, half-naked bald man runs out of the forest in front of him holding a stick. Another biker, who is filming from his helmet camera, gives chase but loses the figure when it leaps into some tall grass. The group searched the area but only found the stick that the creature was holding. The figure, which was between 45 and 60 centimeters tall, may be a member of the Mante tribe who, according to legends, flee from humans when they see them. Regardless of whether it is or isn't, the creature is too small to be human and to this day, nobody knows what it was. Number three is the Atacama humanoid. In 2003, Oscar Munoz was walking in La Noria, an abandoned town in northern Chile, when he came across a bundled piece of white cloth outside of an old church. Unrolling it, he found a tiny skeleton that appeared to be extraterrestrial. The creature's body was only 15 centimeters long, and it had only 10 ribs, as opposed to the average human who has 12. It also had a skull that is best described as being alien-like. A DNA analysis concluded that the creature was in fact male and had survived birth to live for six to eight years before dying. Now only known as the Atacama skeleton or Atta for short, the remains were proven to be not ancient at all but from the last few decades. Questions are still being asked such as what is this creature, was this entire thing a hoax, and if it's not, how many more of these things are out there? Number two are the humanoids of Popocatapetl's groves. For many years, people have been spotting UFOs flying around the Popocatapetl volcano, the second highest peak in Mexico. So, when sightings of tall, thin creatures started becoming common in the area, there was little doubt amongst locals as to exactly what they are. Blurry images of the creatures circulated in 2011, and in late 2014, a mountain rescue team was interviewed and claimed that they'd seen the creatures multiple times, even showing off the huge footprints that they'd made. Rescue climber Gudelmo Vidalis described them as being two and a half meters tall and very thin with brown skin and no clothing. At one point, the squad spotted one of the humanoids climbing a slippery slope at an impossible speed claiming that it traveled in 10 minutes, a distance that would take them three to four hours. All of these individual accounts lay credence to the fact that these creatures might actually exist. And if they do, what are they? And number one are merfolk. 
For as long as humankind has sailed the seas, there have been legends of creatures that live beneath the waves, an aquatic version of humans called merfolk. There are plenty of stories of beautiful mermaids talking to fish or darker tales of them dragging sailors into a watery grave, stories that may not be as fictional as you think. A number of modern day fishermen, naval officers, and cruise ship passengers have come forward with claims that they laid eyes on a real life mermaid or merman. In addition, many of them even have footage to back up their stories. Now the authenticity of some of these videos has been in question. However, even science says that it is possible as an aquatic form of human life shouldn't be that much of a stretch on planet Earth. So that was 10 mysterious creatures that may actually exist. And if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and make sure you enable notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing, because I release new videos all the time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.